Your first crack, Dicko? My first crack is we've just seen four finals. And the biggest disappointment for mine is Essendon. And I've been big on this. Essendon, I think there's a big statement coming and there has to be a big statement right now for the supporters and that footy club. For two years now, they've just dragged the chain. And the numbers don't lie. And when you can talk about game style, his game style. He's had two years with this game style that is no good. It's not working. They've got no forward half presence. They're the bottom five for every forward number you want from time in forward half. Everything that stacks up with the good teams, they are nowhere near it. They're not even in the same postcode with that where they're playing the game off half back. You don't want to be transitioning the ball 120 metres and relying on that. So, what's, so, what's, so you look what at the happens? coach here. So, so I, I, I honestly think the coach, yeah, he has to go because you need someone in there that can change that football club's game style. Do you agree? You want him changed because of the way they play. They're not – put it this way, King. You, because he can, cha- he can change that himself. Well, why hasn't he changed it in two years? Can he change it himself now? Because guess what? They made he the may finals this year with a percentage of 95. Mm. Two years ago, a percentage of 105. Same wins. And then last year, same wins, 105. They, they, they have gone backwards, yet they played finals this year. It tells you a little bit about what we're looking at. And the only reason I say that is – it's a strong one to go with, but I have not had anyone from the football club come out and <laughs> yeah. support him. Well, where's Lindsay Tanner? What, where's, where's Xavier Campbell? What, 24 hours after a game, we should know, like Port Adelaide, whether their coach is going to be there next year. Ken Hinckley, he's going to be our coach next year. Why don't we know whether John Walsfold 100% is coaching them next year? And just before I pass over to David here, <laughs> when Ross was defending himself and saying, listen, I'll honour it. I'm, I, I want to be here next year and... The club didn't come out and go, we want Ross to coach next year. Essendon to get to say, we want John to coach next year. All they say is that he's contracted. What? So what's a, what's a better option? What's a better outcome for Essendon? Well, th- th- to be brutally honest, that's for them to decide. Now, the Rutten you discussion... You him without any... No, 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 but the, the Rutten forward. discussion, and they've got Blake Carousella there, so they've got someone from a successful club. But you can sack him without a way forward because Carlton sacked Brennan Bolton and thought, we'll give David Teague a go, and it turned out that was the way forward. It's a fair point. You can work it out on the run a little bit, can't you? Brendan Bolton won every fifth week. He's a 20% yeah. win-loss I'll work backwards. Carlton. I'll work backwards, Kingy. Do you think <clears throat> he is the man to coach that football club? <laughs> Well, it's a good question, and it's a, it's a hard <laughs> one for me to defend him on because of the of what you present. But the way I would word it is: if your job is to put a senior coach in place to coach for your life, and you've got a choice tomorrow between Warsfold and Lyon, who is available, who has been, whether you like it or not, a very successful coach, coaching in a different way, and not a lot of people like the way Ross has coached in a defensive way either. So you you're torn between two polar opposite coaches. One, an absolute rusted on defensive plan and one that wants to score and, and play exciting football. There's no guarantees. There's no right or wrong way to play. But I think I think 60-plus percent of people would choose Ross Lyon at this very moment. It's a very good point. I, I would say. Essendon, would, Essendon fans? Do you think so? I think so? they would. I, I think the Essendon fans, I think they're a fraction off with the coach. I think they've enjoyed... Essendon just made the finals. They just made, fi- they made the finals. I think they've got to work out what... what success was for John? Was it, was it getting this, the club stable again? In a very tumultuous time. I mean, the three win first season and then they've gone 12-12-12. I mean, that's a, that is fantastic to have them back on a level playing field. It may just be time. You're right, but it's a big payout. I mean, you're probably yeah, more but it's not, it's, it's not a it's not so big they can't do it. It's it's half a million dollars, thereabouts. It's not a million or 1.5 or 2, like what would happen at Adelaide or Port Adelaide. It's a doable payout. So you can actually do it and the soft cap will survive. And you look at those 